Hey, let's clap it up. Welcome back, everybody. Look, welcome back. Look at Joey D. You got Mikey V. We are back. This is the Brilliant Dumb Show. Look, fellas, I, I know the people how much they enjoyed the live, and I know how much Mikey enjoyed the live. I enjoyed it so much. We will find a day, and we will scratch and claw to where we can get to a point where this thing is 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 a live show only. I'm telling you right now, I heard some very, very promising stuff out of the Mikey V and Holly camp saying that they would be willing to make the move to, to, to Florida. That was a very, if, you're right about that. Joe. I got too fucked up after that happened. I forgot what happened. You're right about that. Holly V said the closer to Disney world, the better. And I tell you what, <laughs> the premise of a live pod has never been better. If Florida actually does follow through. I will say, and, and by all means, I mean, what Holly says goes and I'll do anything to get them that much closer to them. I couldn't imagine going to a place because it's closer to Disney World. I think Disney World, I don't get it. You know, I, kids, she's, Bob. A, she's obsessed. Yeah, but she was obsessed with Disney before the kids. So she just loves Disney, loves so when, herself some Disney. When people say they love Disney, they love the stories behind Disney. They don't like the rides at Disney, right? She loves the, the movie. Whole... She loves everything. Gotcha. All okay, that, give her yeah. all yeah, Never that makes it. sense. Because to me, it's just Disney's not a thrill. Bob will include year passes to Disney World for Mikey V to move down to Florida. You know what, Joe? I Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, well, Thanks for the incentive package. If that's, if, 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 if that's, if that's all I got to throw on, if that's all I got to throw on the table. Little Dom will do fucking round and, and rounds on the teacups. Mikey V will be so exhausted with the amount of times this kid will be at the you know, fair. If he, I, he's if, been asking, too. If there comes a day with the Brindley Dumb Show where I have to negotiate a contract with Mikey V, that will be the most exhausting thing I will ha ever have to experience. <laughs> Am I, and and by the way, Mikey, not because mm -hmm. not from a selfish standpoint from you, but more of a standpoint of you will be so meticulous with every single detail. Health He's got insurance. a guy. I like oh. to make sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, Bob. I'm going to have Johnny Cochran show up to that fucking negotiation. Table. <laughs> I've got to get into that with Mikey V. Oh, my God. Mikey V, I, I'd be honest. You look exhausted. Yeah. You're tired. You're very tired. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, long day, long day, but I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it started this, uh, this cleanse. So like, I'm oh. just, I'm going to be eating like a rabbit basically. And it's not, you know, Go ahead, not like Joey a rabbit, D's got, but Joey D's got his hand up. Go ahead, Joey D. Now I, I gotta, I gotta say something that might ruffle some feathers, but I gotta be honest. And that's all I do here <laughs> is I have mad respect for going on the cleanse, but why is it when people go on these long cleanses, they have they feel the need to tell the whole world that they're going on a cleanse and then bitch about the cleanse that they're on? Like if I, you're doing I, the I, cleanse, I'm not, I'm not bitching about it. Well, you said you're exhausted because I, I'm, I'm 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 just tired. But I'm going to tell you why I'm tired. I'm tired because I woke wait, up at fucking wait, seven in the morning. I'm tired wait, because I had to feed both my. Wait, I was home from work today. Wait, but both my kids wait, did an wait, hour on the stairmaster. Wait, let him finish, Bob. Let him finish. No, he doesn't want to let me finish. He wants to fucking. He doesn't want to let me finish. No, that's fine. I mean, let the man finish. At okay, least okay, speak, Bob. okay. I'm Come sorry. On. Okay, okay. I woke up this morning at probably seven. I'm home from work today. Both my kids gave him breakfast, give my wife a break because she does that whole thing every day. Fed both the kids breakfast. Had to wait for a door delivery to my house for the new backyard that we're doing a new yard. I needed to wait for the door delivery. Door delivery came, put the doors in the garage. Uh, went to the gym, did an hour on the stairmaster. Mikey, 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 Mikey. What went the, to the food what store. What the fuck does this have to do with the club? What the fuck does this have to do with? <laughs> um, it has there to do with me go. being. It has to do with me being exhausted, Bob. Oh, why I'm exhausted. Okay. Well, I thought we were on okay. the cleanse. I so I we went out. Oh, it's it's a cleanse, but it's not. It's a diet. It's a very strict diet for 21 days. I'm doing a very strict diet, oh, very regimented oh. workout routine, and a cleanse on the last seven days. I'll be doing an actual <laughs> like a like a like a like a cleanse, like a like a supplement, over the counter supplement cleanse that oh, I've taken man. several times. Good. Sounds very well, unorganized. Uh, the feedback, the feedback has actually been tremendous. So <laughs> a lot of people joining <laughs> in. How about team team? This T Bone guy's... today. T Bone uh, did an hour on the stairmaster today. How about that? <laughs> T Bone follow, yeah, following following the ways of the Jedi. He's coming on day one. Imagine him on day twenty one. He's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna rip my throat out. Oh, You're gonna rip yeah. my throat out on day no, no, no. I, by the way, I I respect. I really do. Anybody that that goes on that journey, I I do respect it. But yeah, because it ain't gonna 
be easy. I'm gonna fuck it. It ain't gonna be easy. But but you look great. I mean, you are in no, peak no, physical no. shape. Yeah, you are Why? You look fantastic. Yeah, I think no. you're stressing yourself out more to where now this cleanse has affected the podcast to where you look very, very <laughs> energy <laughs> levels are down, Bob. Right down. I noticed it right out of the gate. Even texting wise today. I didn't know if he yeah. was gonna show up texting today. Texting wise, what are I you just, talking? We got know. one text. We got one text from Bob ten minutes before the show started with a top five idea that was done five fucking months ago. The, 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 the texting. What are you talking about? This guy lives on Fantasy Fucking Island, bro. I swear, he really does. He really Joe. does. Joe, that's a little more energy. That's what we like. Joe, that's the we, energy. I'm energetic. Joe. Listen, we're ready to get started. We're starting. The ball's rolling here. I hopped on. We had, <laughs> ten minutes, we had 10 minutes of technical difficulties again. That was there were technical minutes. difficulties it wasn't again. It wasn't so minutes. what am I supposed to do? I'm sitting here. I'm waiting. See, but now we're getting peak Mikey V to where sometimes to get Mikey V going, all you got to do every now and then is just throw him a couple jabs. Just throw him. Uh, hope, hope that he doesn't throw the haymaker back, but just just, just juke him and jab him a little bit. Just, just get him going. Joe, I, I got to, in regards to the cleanse thing, I've got to step in there. When you went on your fasting, when you went on your one meal a day, I couldn't oh. play a golf. This guy told. This is this guy has every... a short fucking memory, man. <laughs> yeah. He really does. This no, guy... but no, no, no. <laughs> no. no, my point is not <laughs> bitching about it. I didn't Who bitch about bitching, it. Who is bitching well, about it? You said, I, telling you people, said uh, I looked exhausted. I explained to you what's going on. And you, you said I started the cleanse. Butcher. I'm exhausted. Well, I did start the, I started the diet. The cleanse really doesn't begin until the last seven days, but the diet has fully started. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm on a grilled chicken, sweet potato, broccoli meal today and some asparagus and a chicken sausage. And the diet really is, it's not going to be easy, Mikey. bro. In, no beer, in. no beer for 21 you're, days. You're, you're, that ain't gonna last. Yeah, that, yes, is. that yes, ain't. It, yes, it is. Yeah, there's nobody. I, I didn't say wager. I didn't, wager. I didn't say no. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't say no alcohol. So listen carefully before you, you wager. One day a week of drinks, but no beer. No beer for 21 days. What are you gonna but drink? One day oh, a week of drinks. Oh yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I could do that. You're just gonna. That. No Pound a bottle of Johnny Walker on it. No. Probably Casamigos, maybe. Yeah. But, Bob, I want to address what you said, because when I went on the intermittent fasting, yes, I agree. I told a lot of people, but I was actually enjoying it. I was shedding weight and I was not bitching or complaining fasting, about it. Intermittent fasting really works. It really it works. I, I, if you, oh, if you the problem is it, this. it really works. The problem is this, is you do it for a month. I'd lose 20 pounds and then I'd go back to my normal diet, my normal eating regimen, and I would gain all this weight back very quickly. You have to like weed yourself off and I'm like say go this. back. You guys, you guys being on the road as much as you guys are on the road, uh, that 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 makes things exponentially more difficult because even if you try to order healthy at place, I tried explaining this to people because people on Twitter are like, How could you eat the, the food? I put up a picture of what I made today. And it was just plain grilled chicken on the grill. Chicken breast with salt and pepper. That's it. I put a little hot sauce on it, but people are like, how could you eat like that? And I'm, I'm trying to explain, like, it, I'm eating solely out of functionality, not for taste right now for the next, you know, three weeks. A um, couple cheap meals, maybe two or three sprinkled in, but that's it. But if you're on the road all the time and you're trying to order healthy, it's not the same still as, as prepping your own meals because you don't know how much butter they're using, salt. They're, there's so many right, things. With That's a, he's he's downstairs right now, so I know he's. Gonna be <laughs> it's not just the traveling; it's it's Perez. Do you know the order that Perez put <laughs> he, he, the other night? Okay, he's been on. He's been staying with me for the past week. He the other night, and I know he's listening to this right now. He put in an order for a hundred fifty dollars from a Seven <laughs> Eleven, and it was the most entire <laughs> Mikey. You got to see the order. How is that? What? How is that possible? You want to? You want to? Well, see he got it? some medication too, Bob. You got to You can't. I was gonna say. Yeah, I hope he grabbed like eight bottles of fucking Excedrin or something that costs like nineteen dollars a pop. If he's gonna be spending one hundred and fifty at Seven Eleven, that's he, fucking insane. Yeah, he got a little thing of Mucinex, but the thing I'll read it off to you right now. What? What he got? <laughs> it, it's it's some of the craziest. You ready? This Hostess. has got to be wild. There we go. Ready? <laughs> he got a he got a Hostess. 
cinnamon strudel to a <laughs> he, he, he got a he got a pack of sunflower seeds. He got two body armors, a Mr. Pib, planted salted cashews, a honey bun. He got <laughs> two Ben and Jerry's <laughs> pints of ice cream. He got a Arizona iced tea, a Briar's <laughs> natural strawberry ice cream, <laughs> sour cream and onion Pringles, pretzels. <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios, Jif Peanut Butter, and he got four ice creams. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, wait, wait. This was obviously, oh. this was to stock up, like, the snacks he had at your house, though, I don't, right? Like, available I don't know. to him? I don't oh. know. How much of that is left? Not a whole lot. I mean, the ice is like, <laughs> he, he got, like, he got, like, these ice like the Luigi's? Too. Oh, and it's so good. The, last night I went down, I was craving at like 12 in the morning. I ran down to see if any of the ice cream sandwiches was left. There was nothing there. Um, yeah, man. It, it when you really travel good. with Perez, man, it's pizza or it's burgers or it's, yeah, I mean, you I cannot, mean, listen, you cannot use Perez as a scapegoat. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm responsible you cannot for myself. Use Perez as, you have I'm to just get, saying you have it to take takes it up. No. Oh, it's like, uh, it's, by the way, he like pulled, dancing with the devil. We were coming back from the golf course today. He pulled, <laughs> he pulled the big gulp thing at at Seven Eleven today. Oh, he did the no. move where oh, with the he icy and filled the, it. And the big gulp he cup? filled it yeah. up with the big gulp, and then they told him, "Sir, you can't do that." And he's, you know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he pled, he pled ignorance again. What, what a yeah. sicko, man! Yeah. <laughs> what an absolute sicko That's this wild. guy is. <laughs> what's his What's his slurpy flavor? Blue raspberry. He does, yeah. um, or Coca Cola. Yeah, and he loves. The, I was gonna the, say I could see the Coca Cola. Yeah, he yeah, loves the Coca Cola. Yeah, 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 yeah I I could really, see that. it's really unbelievable. I um, you know what? I I here he is. <laughs> wait, 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 press, come here for a sec. Just go. Just come here for a sec. Let's get him a he, mic there, Bobby. Just came in. A, let me see if you can hear. Can you hear Perez? No. Go ahead. Can you guys talk? Yo, Nicholas. Perez. Can you wait? Can you can you hear him? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's great. Crisp. That's great. Yeah. Glad I can come up here and defend myself. I'm sitting downstairs <laughs> and making a, making a social media. There, I want you. Wait, wait. Hold on. Attack. I want you to. They're scapegoating you. You know that. They're yeah. scapegoating well, you. By the way, like I don't know if that's fair. It's a scapegoat. Because no. I said, Perez, this is what I said. I said, if you're on the road all the time, it's very difficult not only to watch what you eat, but even if you order things you think are semi healthy, it's not really. And it instantly they were like, wow, especially if you're oh, with yes. Perez. It's not my fault, right? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. No, this is, see, this is the thing is like discipline and willpower. People really don't have it. People, re people <laughs> really don't have it. Like some people got it somewhat. Not this but, guy. Yeah. Well, I've heard of those why. things. At least you own it though. Are those two wooden like sailing ships, the discipline yeah, and the willpower? <laughs> yes. They the sail the ocean. I, I, diversity I heard about them. I, I think ships. I read about those. <laughs> Dutch but, colonial era. But am I wrong about the order? Oh, I look, I've been sick. <laughs> no, definitely uh, not wrong about the order. I haven't had much to eat. So I ordered I ordered a lot of drinks. That was the kind of the number one. And then it was like, well, last time you ordered a honey bun. Do you want that? I said, well, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> and, then, and then it kept asking me those serious. It's, it's like right down the middle, like checkout marketing. But that wasn't, that wasn't for one time. sitting, though. That was for like your, your no, I still We still have some of these things. What oh. do we have left? We have popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> we, have one, we have we have most of the popsicles. Left. All of the uh, all of the hard goods have been how, consumed. How quick did the we are ben out of Jerry, drinks? How I've, quick did the Ben and Jerry's pints go, for us? Pretty quick. And look, to be fair, <laughs> this guy did his fair share. Sure the, did. The, the the ice cream sandwiches were yours. Those were not had anything to do with me. But I only got one of them. I only it got to eat one. One of them was melted when it arrived. Yeah, okay. So I threw that away. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It was melted upon arrival, so I threw it away. I opened it to check to make sure. And by the way, you know what's what's a really crazy move is mm -hmm. Cutsy yesterday. We're watching the US Open, and I've seen him do this before, and it it's I can't wrap my head around it. He's eating 
Mikey V, this guy had he had a full rack of ribs. Like we we ordered a bunch of food, it was so good. But he's eating a rack of ribs, and then he's got the mac and cheese, and it was all hitting. And then I look over, I'm like, Joe, do you want a water? He's like, No, I'm good. He's drinking it with he's eating it, and he's drinking it with a Celsius. So he's drinking it with a Celsius pre workout really? energy drink. And I've seen him do this before. Why, Joe? The most bizarre. I need a little bit of energy. I was tired, man. I oh, need a rack of energy if, for yeah. What? I mean. If, uh, well, we first of all we had a podcast to do later. I didn't want to be asleep for the podcast, and we were getting to the back nine of the, the U.S. Open. He had a whole nine to play. State. Yeah. What well, day was that? You guys were there Friday. Or Yesterday, Saturday? yes. Oh, we were there Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Bob was there Friday and Saturday. I, I tell you, your what, heart rate's going up doesn't mean you're working out, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, look, that's true. Yeah, no, I'm not saying I'm not claiming that I worked out. I'm not going to that. I just need I'm, some I'm energy. Out of here. I, I, I've defended myself. <laughs> I can only sit downstairs. Enough slander about me. Yeah. I mean, look, these orders are sacred. There's like an understanding when you make a, an order like that. Perez, two men. There's you know nothing that we there's adore nothing sacred sacred aren't with supposed Bob. to get out. But Perez, Bob, we, we Bob, speak will, the world. Bob, Bob will put it all out there. There's yeah. nothing that's nothing sacred, sacred anymore, is nothing. there? I'm glad he got this apartment himself, though. Hey, thanks for hey. Hey, thanks for having me, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, let's clap it up for Fab. Hey! <laughs> he wasn't even going to come on. Legend. He just opened the door and just gave I me tell the you what, this, this, go. guy, this guy has spent 13 calendar days at his residence, and that might be over in the last four months. I would say. <laughs> no, four we, months, we, 13 calendar wild. days, maybe. We, 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 maybe. We, we, we really are. I mean, look. We don't really work. We really don't. But we're exhausted. We we really don't. We all agreed. We we need to rest after the Audi Club Day, which I do want to get into and everything. Yo, we got a call from Grant Horvat for us to come play um, at some course. I think in like South Carolina for one day in a in a pro am. We were talking about how we need you know to rest. And I'm on the phone. I was like, Yeah, Grant, I don't think we could swing it. Like it's for one day. And and uh, he goes, Perez goes, Whoa, Bobby goes. Let's not speak for the both of us now. What dates are we saying here, Grant? And it's like <laughs> next week for like one day. I'm like, Press, go home, dude. Like, just, just take a, take a week off. Just like, just go home, dude. Well, I think you know? that's why he's been sick. His body needs rest. Yeah, dude. The guy's golfing and yeah. traveling more than like five people combined. Well, by the way, by the way. We partially think maybe the reason that he's sick is because he was playing golf in the fires that was going on in New York with, with Fubi, Fubi yeah. Lou. Yeah. I mean, it's very, I, very possible. I, yeah, yeah, there's a reason Perez, he's coughing I, shit. I've out. seen I've seen Perez on the golf course more than I've seen like like Brooks Kepka or Rory McIlroy. Yeah, I, I, you know, really, it's every it's, it's insane. It's insane, Bob. We got to put up the photo that Perez and Fubu Lou sent. Of them with, with the, the masks, masks, with the balaclavas on, so that they could golf while it was. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliantly Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at BetterHelp.com. Life doesn't always go the way you want to, and it doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's why BetterHelp.com is here. BetterHelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist. They have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable, and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building. You could do it all from the comfort of your new home, of your home. You can't go wrong when you go with betterhelp.com. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash BDS. Betterhelp.com. Change your life today for the better. <laughs> I'll tell you, Mikey B, you got a crew on you. These boys from the Audi Club, Mikey B, it, it is, I'd say as New Jersey a, as it possibly gets, just the amount of ball yeah. busting that that takes place on one of the, it, it's, it's something out of a movie. Even going to Luna's to do the podcast, the shit that's going on in, in Luna's, which, you know, any person can walk into, and it's a terrific place, but it, it's something out of a movie. This Nutley, New Jersey it, is not real. It's like the Sopranos, bro. 
<laughs> it's crazy. Yo, Lou's, Lou's like nephew or something was in the bathroom. This kid was maybe five to six years old. He had a, a jersey on the back and it said Retaco on the back. And his yeah. dad was there making sure that he was peeing okay. And I walk into the bathroom and the dad was talking to him like he was 25 years old. So he's like, oh, so you 10 run ruled him? He's like, yeah. He goes, how come you weren't there? He goes, look. He's like, yeah, I wanted to go, but what am I going to tell to Mary? You know, what am I going to say to your mother yeah. if I'm there? And he's talking to the kid like he's 20 something. <laughs> it was the most, it, it's, it's such a zoo. Yeah, uh, it's it's intense. And like I said uh, a couple weeks ago, before we did the live pod, I was like, if you could survive one day as the target in, in a group chat with these guys, then you could pretty much survive a nuclear holocaust. Because yeah. it, 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 like, it, is, it, is, it is ruthless, it is brutal, and it, it, sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to it. So you got to have very, very thick skin. You got to be able to give it as good as you take it, uh, or take it as good as you give it, I, I should say. Uh, but yeah, that was, a, it was a fun day. I thought everything worked out really well. I, I thought the bus was great. I thought, uh, obviously the, I thought Billy's was fantastic. The game was a riot watching cuts eat nachos out of the, out of the baseball helmet was like Hysterical. one of the best things I've ever seen. Hysterical. Uh, it was so funny. Uh, the game, at least we won because the Yankees flat out stink. They're really bad. So at least we got a W out of them for that. But, uh, uh, it was great. It was another one for the ages, I'd say. <laughs> Cutsy, really Cutsy, uh, Mikey V had a connection to the guy who wanted to get us in the suite because we had so many people. <laughs> so the guy wanted to come meet us and talk to us. So we go up to go talk to the Yankees guy. And <laughs> so he's getting ready to talk to us. And Cutsy realized pretty quickly that it wasn't like a really hookup type situation. Like it really wasn't something that was going to be no. worth it. So the guy's still talking and I can't find Joe and I turn around. He's right behind the guy waiting in line for a sausage. <laughs> for a sausage. <laughs> I tell you what, I wanted to ditch that conversation. Yeah, I, I, respect, I didn't, I stayed I didn't the blame guy. him. Was, but, you know, that's yeah. the thing you do got to give Joe is Joe's just very, um, you get what you get and there's not a lot of bullshit to like, I wouldn't have been able Unapologetic. to have that conversation. Yeah. Like, he, uh, trust me, I wanted to be in line waiting for a sausage too. I, I got you to, one. You did, and I really appreciate it. Yeah. And I got you a beer. Yeah, well, Joe, that's why I'm giving you, for the love of Christ, Joe, I'm giving you a compliment. I mean, I can't oh. even give the guy a compliment. I thought I, you were saying that I you wanted not, to do it. I just thought it was funny the way he said it. <laughs> He's just so aggressive. Yeah. And I yeah. got you a beer. Yeah, and then I love to, like, he'll just, like, when the stadium yells, he yells. Like, when something good, like, he's yeah. just like a clown. Like, he just loves oh! to say. <laughs> yeah. 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 On. yeah. Mikey V had a tough, like, it was like top of the first, and guy hits a lousy fly ball to center field, and Mikey V, yeah. all yeah. six <laughs> foot. I, even just see call. I think it was Stan. It was, I think Stan. It was, I think Stan did one. It was, it was fairly, Stan. fairly deep center. Uh, yeah. I gave it to yeah. see a call, and the Red Sox fan in front of me wasn't really happy about it. Well, so yeah, it was tough. And then, you know, I had a tough bit where there was two outs, runner on first, guy hits a sharp ground ball to third, and I get out of my seat and yell, swing it. For a double play, and and it, it was we were hammered, it was tough. man. Yeah, yeah, we were really. You know, the tough. only the only thing that I would say, a complaint that I do have, and Joey D has a hand up, so we're gonna get to Joey D, is that there were so many of us that, like, for example, Nikki Juice was on the total other end of him us. So I didn't get to talk to Nikki Juice the whole time. I didn't get to talk to Fubu the whole time. There were so many people that there was a lot of people I didn't get to talk to. Um, that was my only complaint, but I'll tell you that. I think the next time, if we don't get a box, um, I think we have to stack the seats row back row. So like three rows and like a square, like a section in the same section, but three rows, like back to back to back. We got to go go in one row full across. Mikey, back to back to back. I, I know you had talked about it prior, but I'd like you to just touch on it real quickly. Um, the fact of, you know, there was a lot of stuff about the big ticket. Should we have gotten him the ticket? Should we have done this? Mikey V gets him on the bus. Oh. He gets him a ticket to the game. Ticket does not show to the game. So, Mikey, I do want to pan it over to you. I mean, you got to be livid at the stunt of the big <laughs> ticket. Play. You know what? Uh I'm, you know, we talked about it on the sportsman briefly, and I, I really, honestly, I, I'm, I'm more just in shock. Really, I'm just, I'm just in shock that he would, 
And when he said it, he he claims that from the moment he got the ticket, he knew he wasn't going to the game, which is just a <laughs> wild statement. The guy's is, just wild. Wait, is that was, what he said? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. can tell Bob didn't listen to the Sportsman podcast this week well, because well, that's okay. Well. That's fair. That's fair. That's <laughs> that's fair. But no, um, I I really I just think that it, it played so well considering that there was so much drama. That, and this is why people shouldn't buy into this bullshit because he made such a big deal out of this, and he busted my balls. And when push came to shove, and 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 I, business was taken care of by me. Uh, he just no showed it and that's fine. And you know, it is no hard feelings for the ticket. I love ticket. Um, I just think that it played perfect because every single person was asking where he was. Everyone was like, why is ticket not in that big group shot? Where is ticket? And he just fucking just flat out just stood me up, stood me up, left me at the, at the ball by myself. Bro, that that is, I mean, the big ticket has got to to answer for this. And I would call him, but he's probably on do not disturb. Yeah, you should so, try calling him. Yeah, so you don't even know if you're gonna get him. That that is the big ticket will be back on um to address that. I do want to get into the buy or sell. Um, but before that, Joey D has his hand up, so we're gonna go to Joey D. I wanted to ask a question, and I'm not like legitimately like bitching about this person or anything. Oh, okay. So I don't want this to be taken out of context. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna okay. preface this. I'm asking you a question. When you're sitting Me? down, I, both of you, I'm asking you a question. Okay. When you're Stay sitting with us here, Mikey. When you're sitting down for a baseball game that's nine innings, what would you say legitimately would be like? A reasonable amount oh, of times that one individual would get up yeah. to go to the restroom <laughs> and make the entire row stand oh, up. Jesus Christ, here we go. Just wondering <laughs> what a reasonable <laughs> figure of times is because I counted and we were approaching an eight or nine piece. It was, or maybe more. Way, Joe, it was a person that. In our group, and I was begging Joe not to say anything. He was acting as if we don't know the person, and I was saying, "Joe, please don't say anything." He said, "Bob, I gotta say something. This is ridiculous." Holy uh, sister said he should put a diaper on. <laughs> well, I'm Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, I'll let you I take just... this. I mean, I... And by the way, by the way, let me just say this: unbelievably nice guy, like really nice guy. But I mean, dude, it he was, did. He did. He did. It was tough. <laughs> he the did text. I believe, ladder in America. I believe he did text the Audi Club the next day, and he goes, "Is it just me, or did I get up to pee like seven hundred well, times?" I said, "It's not just you." Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. He was in a position where he could mix up which which side he goes to. He he could have. Yeah, yeah. Could have mixed yeah. it up. But well, how about this? Point. How about go point. to the person in the end and say? Hey guys, I'm really struggling right now. You mind if I sit on the aisles? Yeah. But, but, uh, but Joe. Oh, I but, mean, he, should, he was. He, shout out Aunt Coos, by the way. Oh, uh, there he goes. Aunt Coos. Love some Aunt Coos. I love he, me. Probably, some Cougs. he probably didn't want to switch seats because he was sitting next to his wife, so he probably, <laughs> you know, he probably wasn't about to do that. Um, but yeah, I think he owned up to it. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. It was a loss at one point, but you know what? He also did come back every time with a new beer, which was very much probably the reason why he had to keep. Because every time he came back, he had another tall boy with him, and God bless, yeah. he brought me a couple in the process. You know, uh, what was one of my favorite things was betting on what Joe was going to come down with. Like Joe, when uh, he went up to the concession stand, oh. and everybody betting on what he's going to had, and I knew he was going to do that nacho helmet, and everybody's guessing hot dogs. That on helmet, that nacho helmet was uh, no, dude, it was the best. You know I, what? I knew he was going to do that nacho helmet. Joe, no, just because, like, that's just so like no one else. Like, like, yeah, obviously other people in the stadium are doing it, but for you to be the person in our group to do it, it's just, it was so fitting. It was just so great. It was excellent. And Perez's face in that picture of the of you eating the nacho out of the helmet is is the greatest thing. I got to send that to Ticket for uh, for him to put it in because it's, it's one of Mikey, the best pictures ever. Mikey. 
you're right though. It makes all the sense that Joe would get the nacho helmet. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean. It really yeah. does. By the way, what we didn't touch on is the fact that Nicky Juice got so hammered he thought the Yankees had lost. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? I didn't know. Yeah, boys, it was a good game. We just couldn't close it. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? They won. Uh, He's like, on the, we won. On the bus, on the bus ride back to Nutley, he was like, he was like, I can't believe the fucking Red Sox won, man. And he was dead serious. And, I'm like, <laughs> and everyone was like, yo, what the fuck? Oh, man, bro, he was this, in a bad way. A this bad crew, way. this crew is, it is, I mean, we, we will be running it back. It is special what goes on in Nutley, New Dynamite. Jersey. Luna's Woodfire Tavern, uh, by the way, the official sponsor of the Brilliant and Dumb Show because nobody else sure will is. be. That's why. Um, but Luna was fine tavern. Big shout out to you. Uh, I'll tell you what it's not brought to you by. It's not brought to you by Wendy's. Some say fresh, never frozen. I say, fuck it. I think that's frozen. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. There goes our only <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I'm joking. Wendy's, we love you. We brought love to you by Wendy's, the company that continuously takes retreats. Um, Wendy's, we love you. That's a joke. In all seriousness, that's the joke. We're ready to be on board. We got the biggie bag right here. Wendy's forever. Dave Thomas forever. Please come back home. Um, <laughs> moving forward here, fellas, I'd like to get into our buy or sell segment. What did you see of the week that you liked? What did you see of the week that you did not like? This is the buy or sell segment. Um, fellas, if you don't mind, I, I, I'd love to, to start us off. Um, and not that I we we formed filmed the Bob to Sports podcast. And not that I regret of anything that I that I said. I do regret not being a little bit harder on it because the the truth is the truth. And the U.S. Open and the way the LACC did the U.S. Open, the way that they capped the fans, they oh. gave all their tickets, so many tickets to their members Membership, and yeah. whatnot. And by the way, you know LACC is known as being one of the most strict clubs around here Stuffy. Stuffy. by far you can't have a phone like you can it it really is and it was great that they had the event we were so happy that it was right here you walked in there and you felt that this it was different it, it didn't have the same buzz and then you go and you watch it on tv and you can see i mean ricky fowler hit a 50 foot putt mm -hmm. while he's in the hunt while he's in the lead to lead the u.s open when the entire planet wants the guy to win he hits a 50 foot putt and you barely hear a clap to where it it was it was tough man it was and i really wanted it to be good you got to call a spade a spade um i i'm selling the the u.s open man shout out wyndham clark a dear friend of the pod but i i uh I, I I'm selling the the venue at the uh, at the U.S. Open. Yeah, I thought it was a mortuary. It sounded like a funeral home on what's television. That, what, anyway, what's, what's that mean? A mortuary. It's like where they keep dead bodies. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, it was like it was morbid. It was like it was it was like a funeral. It sounded like a funeral home. Like it was just so embarrassing, even to watch it on television. Everyone was complaining about it. It was all over Twitter. That's all anybody was talking about, and it was. It was blatantly obvious that last there was a 15 to 20 minute stretch on Saturday when you guys were there. I was watching at night. It was late here on the East Coast. Well, late 10 o'clock, whatever, where Fowler hit that that putt. And then, you know, I think um, I think uh, um, Wyndham hit a birdie right after that to answer to keep to keep with Fowler. And then there was like Scheffler hit that eagle, the second, uh, uh, the the eagle that he hit, uh, where he uh, he just drained it. He hit it with like a wedge and just put it in from where yeah, we put it. That was that unreal. was in like a twenty minute stretch, and there was like a couple other birdies. I think uh, Rory made a birdie. It was the it was one of the most action filled fifteen to twenty minutes, and it was I tweeted out. I said this is this fifteen to twenty minute stretch that I just watched at the U.S. Open was better than the entire NBA Finals. There wasn't a single moment in the NBA Finals that was as good as that fifteen to twenty minutes of the U.S. Open on Saturday. It was fucking unbelievable, and that was part of it. Was that Ricky? I think that was a seventy foot putt, wasn't it, Bob? I think it was like might, seventy yeah, feet. It might have been sixty three feet I mean, or something was, like that. Yeah, usually, especially anybody they would erupt for the fact that it's Ricky Fowler and everybody's wanted this guy to get back on top. I mean, every and then you hear the reaction, and there's just there's just nothing there. I mean, it it was insanity. Um, yeah. Mikey V, we're gonna go over to your cell. I'm running right over to get my charger before this thing dies. Um, but sort of way, uh, you're by yourself. I'm buying this week. 
And I'm going to buy uh, something that I think is a little underappreciated, Joe. And you being a culinary person, a uh, person that's from the restaurant industry, you might agree, yeah. you might disagree with this take. But I think it's it's a, it's a, something that goes very underappreciated in a lot of dishes. I think the crouton. I'm buying the crouton. I think a good crouton, whether it be in soup, whether it be in salad, a homemade good crouton could be the difference maker with a lot of salads and a lot of soups. And I've had great ones. And I've had really terrible ones. And I tell you what, the other day I had some croutons and they were so good. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy the crouton. It's a fan. The crouton is a what very- What was the dish that you had it with? So they called it a cacio e pepe salad, but it wasn't really- I. Yeah, so it was like it was like hearts of romaine with fried capers on it, cheese. It was more it, to me. It was more like a Caesar, but they called it cacio e pepe, which is like you know cheese and and pepper. It okay. was fucking it, Bob. This is from the place that I sent you that picture of the Negroni menu. They had all sure. those different types sure. of Negronis. The meal was fantastic, um, but the croutons were just and it just got me to thinking like a crouton could really really resurrect a slightly mediocre salad if the crouton could really hold its weight. So I'm buying the crouton. I think Mikey. places should, should do a little more at work on the crouton. It is. It's, it's a fantastic buy and it's so true. It really is. I, I, I think that is spot on that, that a crouton can take a mediocre salad to an above average salad or yes. sometimes just save a shitty salad um, as well. The only thing, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, because I'm 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 not over it because it's just the last guy that needs. I I hear you talking about the crouton. You're such a foodie, and even that steak that you grilled on Father's Day, Mikey was like prepping a steak a day before on Father's Day, or like yeah. two days before. You're such a foodie, and you're in such good shape. I I I I want to sell. I want to sell the diet. I think you're going to get a little cranky. I think you're going to get a little cranky, and I think that you're not going to be in your best form because you're a foodie, and that's what you do, and that's what you love, and you work out so much. It's just the diet. I respect it. I'm going to have a couple cheat days, Bob. You can. You got to stick to 21 days. It's going to be documented. Cheat meals. I'm going to have. Yeah, but if you do, if you do a diet correctly, even when you do a like a like a serious like a cleanse or some kind of thing. You, you, you always like everyone has cheat meals. Like you got to incorporate cheat meals, just not this first week. I'm not doing any cheat meals, but I am capping off the whole thing with that five patty burger eating uh, time contest. That's what I'm going to cap. the Wow. Whole thing. That's my cheat meal. And you know what? That guy, they just reset the record. The guy did it now in nine minutes and 24 seconds or something. So See, we're in that, the single digits. I still digits. think you can beat that. I, I don't I do. know. That's tough though That's now. Tough. Now there's a little pressure now. What, he heard what footsteps. Was it, what was he it before? Footsteps. It was like 11 minutes flat, which I thought I would destroy that. That's a big, that's, remind the people what it is, Mikey B. So it's five, it's at my buddy's place called Spanky's Gourmet, another Nutley uh, local joint. Really great Spanky's. stuff sandwiches. Spanky's Gourmet, <laughs> yeah. yeah, delicious Hell of a stuff. name. Hell of a well, name. yeah, Spanky. So Spanky's our good buddy, uh, our good buddy, Jernick. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's five patties. Five burger ridiculous. patties and a pound and a pound of fries, <laughs> and you have to eat it another under. You have to eat it in under fifteen minutes to get your what name a, on the thing. What whatever. A, what, a, but, what a terrible name! <laughs> what a terrible name! Can I just say that? something? Spanky's is good enough, but they have to put gourmet. Spanky's <laughs> gourmet. Joe, Joe, by the way, by the way, this stuff is fucking. <laughs> This stuff. I'm not doubting it's good. I'm just saying, just be spanky. Yeah, look at this. Look at the leaderboard. Look, you recognize a name on that leaderboard? Recognize a name on that leaderboard? Lou Ritaco. Guys are the sickest. Let me tell you, man. These Nutley guys are the Lou sickest. Did it in, Lou did it in 1205, Wait. which is frankly, that's embarrassing. But, but Lou doesn't have one. Yo, That's embarrassing. Yo, you're so right. If you're going to do Spankies, just do Spankies. Don't do Spankies Gourmet. Spankies Gourmet Grub. Shout out. Yeah. Um, but listen, so this guy who now owns the record, and his name is George Burns, funny enough. His name is George Burns. He did it in 1124. He got his record broken at 1103, and that was the standing record, 11 minutes, three seconds. This guy comes back this past weekend Better and man. sets the new record, 929. Wow. Now, I'm going to beat 929. I think I can do it in the eights. I five, really do. This is five patties. Five patties. Uh, 
This is five patties, a pound of fries. Yes. Brad, any toppings on the patties? I think just cheese, Bob. I would love to be there for this. And I said it before, selfishly, I want that for the Brilliantly Dumb show to do a a, a live thing. Um, fellas, can you stay with us? I'm putting my it? top five. I was, looking, I was looking for a picture of the burger, but I'm listening to every word you're saying. I, I was looking for a picture of the burger to show it, but shout, go ahead. Shout out Spanky's. Joe, let's go to your buy or sell. Wow. Bob's pissed. Wow. I mean, God forbid. It. It. I was with it. I was trying to show a picture. I, by the way, you don't think I could topple 929, Bob? I think it's a big difference from what you were dealing with before. I I, I loved your odds with, with a little past 11, but I think it's a big difference now with, with nine and change. That's a whole I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, because I'll I'm gonna IG live it when I do it. I will that burger. Now the fries are gonna be the challenge, but that burger, I will guarantee I polish off in under four minutes. I will finish that burger in under four minutes. Five patties. Yeah. I have, a, I have an idea, Mikey V. What? Call me crazy. <laughs> we would never. We tell we would never do that. <laughs> I think you should polish off the fries first yeah you know holly was asking me how i was going to approach it i just feel like if i do the fries first the burger is going to be a it's going to be just a mountain to climb i, or I do just feel like i can half. i just feel like i could finish the burger so fast because i know how i eat burgers i know how i eat them i literally i devour them they evaporate in front of me i can eat them so do you have the fries seconds. Then the burger, then the other half. Because maybe if you do the if you do the burger first, it's gonna be a mountain of fries. You're gonna get like like disheartened. Disheartened, yeah. I mean, look, maybe your taste buds do need a little change of pace to where maybe that's half not... fries, burger, half fries. <laughs> do you like that? You gotta have some kind of strategic method here. Well, my my strategy is that I'm so I'm gonna cap off. Off a five mile run at Spanky's Gourmet Grub, so I'm going to run five Gourmet miles. Grub. I'm going to run. I'm going to run five miles, and then at the end of the run, I will be there to have my meal, and I will, yeah. the fire will be so stoked. I'll just see yeah. these You're guys. Be I've seen, I've seen profusely, though. I've seen pictures of these guys who have eaten these burgers. These guys are not. These guys are not in training. These guys, they just like well, to eat. There's one a is a Lou Taco. Yeah, well, yeah, Lou, Lou, yeah, yeah, out of Lou. respect to Lou, yeah, I mean, Lou. Yeah, that's a guy. Lou ain't in training. I, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Lou Lou, you know where Lou, Lou is now? He's in, he's in Greece. He went from I Maine to, to Greece. Greece. How about that? Tell him to take Perez with him. He Perez would have gone to Greece. He would have had no issue. Yeah, with yeah. If he got invited, he'd be like, "Whoa!" I swear whoa. to you, Lou. If Great Lou, fishing in Greece. Great if fishing. Lou, if Lou called, <laughs> there's, a Cabe- there's a Cabela's in in uh, in uh, in Mykonos. Mykonos, Mykonos, home of Cabela's. I would love Lou to just play a prank on Perez and just try and get Perez to go to Greece and say that he's got some golf trip booked for like next week and see if he could convince <laughs> oh, Perez to go. Not saying Perez would go, but he would think about it. Um, all right, Joey D, buy or sell? I mean, I've been on a streak of sells, but I got to sell again this week. Um, and this is a sell that I, I, I thought about it today. I don't know why I haven't sold it sooner. The I was driving this morning. We had an early round of Bob to Sports. Okay, so I got in the car driving and I put the radio on. I don't understand for the life of me how these radio host people still have jobs where people go oh. to their commute to work each and every day and they hear the countless dribble that is being discussed on the radio. Just play the music. I want to hear music. I had to spend five minutes changing channels before I could get a single solitary song. Yo, so you, this live, week, you, live, you live in the age of, you don't, You never have to listen to the radio ever again. You can my listen car to is music not from that age. My car is an 05 Jag. I don't have serious radio. Oh, Joe, so just I have fucking He won't car, do it, Mikey. Right, he won't. Just he get won't. a new car. And, it's and, got less than 80,000 miles on and, it. It's got 70,000, 59,000 miles. Joe, but he has the money for it, by the way. No he shit he's really got the money for it. I mean, he listen. He won't do it. He's too old school. He won't. 
He won't do. The I car don't, is still in good shape. I don't need to buy a new. Joe, car. it didn't have air conditioning for three Joe, years. Joe, you sound like you I sound fixed like it. How my I fixed the air conditioning. Talk about cars. It's still in good shape. I mean, it's okay. got fifty nine thousand miles on it. Why do I need to get a five new seconds car? ago? It had seventy nine thousand. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know why? No, no. it's because I'm thinking kilometers. It's got seventy seven thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it's got 59,000 miles. Oh, no. <laughs> which is like the equivalent of metric system again. Which is like oh. the equivalent to like 70, 80,000 kilometers. Oh, oh God. So I, I got to be honest. Like, bottom line is like, I got to be know, honest. I don't understand why people through rush hour traffic enjoy. They were, they had on the radio channel today, they were pranking. A, a woman's husband by telling him there was another guy at the house oh, and yeah, they're going that's... off. And I'm like, why do I want to listen to this right now? Do they have any I good have... sports radio out, out in California? I wanted to I listen to music before I wouldn't imagine get me that they do. jazzed up for my ma- for our, for our I mean, episode today. And it's like, I just, I want to hear music. I don't, and it's not like I'm listening so to you, a radio you could host put, show. You could put an aftermarket radio in there that'll adapt to the Bluetooth. It'll go have an aux cord, all of that. And you can keep the car. You can keep he's, the car. How much not, does that cost? Not a lot, Joe. Under a thousand dollars. He's not a thousand dollars. Under a thousand dollars, Joe. Mikey, this guy is so old school when it comes to that air That's conditioning. That's bizarre, though. I feel like oh, no, I fix air conditioning, Bob. It's it's, it's to protect the dog because the dog yeah, is going to die if you get it. Oh yeah, the dog. Yeah. As soon as Bro. that happened, I fixed the air conditioning the next freaking day. He, Why didn't I you fix it before that? Though? Because for me, I could just roll the window down. I could let the breeze flow in. But that's what he there, used to say. I used to bitch about how hot it was in his at the apartment. apartment. And he would say, just roll the window down. I said, Joe, I'm rolling the window down to a hundred degree temperature. Joe down. would never strike me as a guy who could survive without top quality air conditioning. <laughs> he just doesn't strike me as a guy. Like, I did oh, for years. Doesn't. It's like a I big old for grizzly years. bear. Like he, it used to be a sweat box in there. Oh, no. And the worst part is, if you complained, he'd get pissed at you like you're the problem. Oh, well, Bob, let's be honest. You like to have it at a brisk 59 when we're, I'm yeah, in your Bob, house. I got I to gotta put spicy. a layer. I got to walk into Bob's place wearing a chinchilla jacket or else I freeze <laughs> my nuts off. Look, look, I like it. I got, I, got a chin, I got a good chinchilla guy if you need one, Joe. Yeah, I bet well, you do. Well, yeah, I some, yeah, I bet you do. I bet you I'll never doubt this that. This guy's again. got a guy for everything. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, he does. He, let me tell you something. And if something tells me that guy's coming out of Nutley, he's doing it out of the back of Spanky's Gourmet. <laughs> Spanky's Gourmet ain't necessarily gourmet. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's gross. like the scene of Goodfellas. They're going to roll the jackets yeah. to the kitchen. Oh, Just so I will <laughs> store them in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a wild place, man. These guys, what a wild, wild place over there in Nutley. I've before. never heard someone actually say I've got a chinchilla guy. That's a first. He He's not joking. He's not joking. <laughs> I've, I've, I mean, we could get, I mean, I know one something. guy I could call right now. He, it, he's, uh, oh, wrap you in furs. That's one, oh, of no, biggest, that's one of his biggest pickup lines <laughs> that he <laughs> uses. He's like, he's like, does she know that I would wrap her in furs? <laughs> Uh, you know, the, the uh, best he loves that line. Nikki Diamond yeah. sent me a video of I, I put up a video and now he, he like deactivates his Instagram and then the next week he every like him. every like month he'll just deactivate it. He goes on he goes on and off and I put up a, a story talking about me going to Vito's pizza shop and then I get a message <laughs> from him. It's a video and it's just him. You hear the Mets game going on in the background. It's a, it's a matinee day game. The Mets are playing. <laughs> like, oh I hear I hear Keith Hernandez in the back, and he's in a robe, and he goes into his oven. And he's got a homemade. Oh yeah. He goes really, Bob? Vitos? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll send you the video to put up. It's this guy, man. It it it's it's really it's really unbelievable. <laughs> Paying for pizza, Bob. At Vito's. Isn't that so California Jewish of you? All right, boys. It's been a phenomenal podcast so far. Um, as always, as per tradition, we have a top five. And this is a 
this is a Joey D uh, top five here. Joey D, why don't you tell the folks uh, what we're going to be doing today, and then you could pick who starts us. Today we are going to be doing a top five, top five snacks you like to get at the movie theaters. Top five movie snacks. That's that's good. That's that's better. Wait, wait what was there a problem, Mikey? Well, just the, I, there wasn't a problem, but I think the way that he rephrased it was much better than today's top five is top five snacks that you'd like to get when you go to the movie theaters with your significant other. Top five movie snacks. Top five movie. Top five movie snacks is a much better summary, is what I'm saying, Joe. You, I did the long winded version. It was really good. Really good. It was really good. It was really good. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you pick? Oh, we'll start it off with the with the the announcer of announcers, Mikey V. Can give his picks first. All right, number five coming in. At number five, I have milk duds. Milk duds now, milk duds are a little dangerous because you could pull a filling out very easily if you don't have good teeth. You got to be very <laughs> right, careful. Right. You could lose a crown. Milk duds are tough, man. Like you could fucking, you could like, uh, you could use that as like a bonding agent to keep like parts of your car together if you had to. But milk duds at five. Four, I have snow caps. I like the snow caps, which are the chocolate pieces with the white non parels uh, sprinkled all over them. Yeah. The snow caps. I'm a snow cap guy. I always have been like that. I don't know what that is. I they're do, good. very, they're, they're, very. They're, when you think of movies, that's one of the things in the front. You yeah, always like see those. Three, give me gummy bears. I, I, I love gummy bears. The gummy bears at the movies is a great snack. Uh, it doesn't have to be the Sour Patch Kid. I, you know, I like those, but for a long period of time, like you're sitting in a two and a half hour movie, I'd, I'd rather just have a regular gummy bear. Uh, and two, popcorn. Popcorn has to get its due. Uh, butter. The more butter, the better on the popcorn. Although sometimes it's so salted that it's just delicious. Movie popcorn is probably so bad for you, but it is it is good. It's addicting. I just feel like you reach a certain point when you're eating that popcorn and you're just you're just shoveling it in disgustingly. It's all over your place. And then number one, which is a number one snack for me in a lot of areas, but I just always come back to this snack. I, I just don't think pound for pound it could be beaten by many others. Peanut M&Ms. I just think the peanut M&M is the perfect... Now you're sitting in the movie, you take the M&M in your mouth, you don't eat it, you don't just bite right through it. That's an amateur move. You crack the shell, you melt the chocolate off the peanut, then you have the peanut as almost a secondary snack on top of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Give me the peanut M&M at number one. I I I love the peanut M&M play. Um, Cutsy, did you have a problem? Was there an issue there I saw with the popcorn? I, I I can't imagine popcorn not being number one. It's it's kind of oh oh okay. I yeah, I it's was... not. It, I'd rather ha- if I if, actually res- I, gun to my I head. It. Gun to I my head. It. Here's what I'll say. Gun to my head. If they only have one size of the peanut M and M's, regular size, that could be an issue, and I may go popcorn over it because I could get a jumbo. If they have the family share size bag of the peanut M and M's, I don't need the popcorn. Give me a big diet Coke. And the peanut M M&M and M family size bag. Of course, I'm not sharing with my family. That's just for me. If my family would like some, I'll just buy another bag. But the family size peanut M and M, bro, is is that's my number one. It, it is. Yeah, I will say fountain sodas at movie theaters hit better. Than yes, they too. do. They really. Yes, I don't know do. what yes, it is. Maybe do. it's the 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 mix of the popcorn. Um, McDonald's fountain sodas always hit great. McDonald's Diet Coke is is one of the best in the game, and then the the movie theater sodas hit well as all. Um, do you want me to go, or you want to go, Joey? Day? I'll go next, and sure. then we can we can finish you off. Um, all right, number five. We can, we're what? gonna go. I said, what? We can finish with you going last. Oh, you oh, can finish okay. us off. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought you said you could piss us off. That's right. No, finish yeah, us yeah. off. Oh, okay. Finish okay. us off. Uh, all right, number five. I don't know if we're gonna take some slack for this, but I'm gonna go licorice at number five. I love a good. Now I'm a red vine. I like. Guy. I like a red licorice. I just don't. Red like vines. Black. Red. No. No. Absolutely not. I can't. Red. Black red black. vines or a lot of people like Twizzlers. I yeah. don't. I don't mind. Twizzlers I would like. Twizzlers are very good. I like red vines. They're more like old school licorice when I think of it. Um, I, I like think licorice, the, Joe. If you like red licorice, you got to try this Wiley Wallaby. I do. The, the the watermelon one. Oh, it's fucking unbelievable. Oh, it's, it's so unbelievable. Pumpkin it's wallabies unbelievable. or whatever it is. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's Australi- Australian licorice. Yes, it's unbelievable. It's, it's actually incredible. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You're not wrong. No. 
You talk that talk, Mikey V. Licorice at five. Number four, I'm going to go with the Sour Patch Kids. I think, I, I know you went with Gummy Bears. That's also a good play. The Sour Patch Kids are great. I, I think that they're very durable. There's a lot of different flavors. I, I love the I love sour things. So the Sour Patch Kids gets the number four spot for me. Sure. And number three, you went with the, the peanut M&Ms. I'm going to go with the Reese's Pieces, the little ones. Like, yeah. I don't know what the pieces are. They're, re- they're, re- yeah. they're just called Reese's Pieces. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's they're not movie. the buttercup. That's a movie theater snack as well. They they yes. they, yes, they, they it make is. it yeah. Yes, it is. It's great yes, plus. They're yes. so good. And some They're people delicious. put it in the popcorn. I just like to show. I just I can eat those like by the bushel. Those are unbelievable. It's great plus. The Reese's pieces. The uh, number three by the bushel. Now number two, I'm gonna get some clap back for you guys. You might <laughs> say it's not allowed. So if 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 not, you tell me. Uh, I'll change it. And number two, I have soda. Soda is the number two snack. Get the on fuck the out list. of here, Joe. What the come fuck on, is wrong Joe. with you, man? Joe, come what on, the Joe. Fuck is wrong Maybe with if you? you had said Slurpee, we could have a discussion. I would have. That's what I we thought. We could have a discussion. Sit you here soda and think for a look, look, second. He knows. He tried no. to sneak it no. in. He tried to sneak tell you it what, in. Man. That's all right, bro, Joe. Joe. <laughs> and if you don't think you? he's got a number two prepped because he knew that was going to get I tell you what, Joe tried to steal home plate. He tried to steal home plate. tried to slip one in. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Joe. That's fine. But we got you. We nailed you at the plate. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. All right. And number two, I'm gonna go nachos. Now, I'm gonna go look, nachos. Wait, time out now. Time out. Time out. You know he had this on the back. You knew that he knew it was never gonna happen because he came up with nachos. Yeah, of course. Like this. I, yeah, of course. I love you. Joe. I love you, bro. I really yeah, do. Because that is no quintessential idea, cuts. It really is. It really is. Well, now, I don't know. Are the nachos like... being served in a baseball helmet? No, unfortunately not. By the I way, like I the will nacho say. Play. I like the nacho play. Yeah, the nacho play is good. And, and, and they normally Fine put play. like the sour cream and the jalapenos on it, which I like. I the, like the ex... You put the sour, the jalapenos uh, on the side if you don't you know like what them. what it is? The nachos come in a bag. The no, they don't. Do. You got to open the chips up, and it's a very um. It's almost like a um. The cheese that's cheap nacho. Nice. I don't know the, what the, nacho the, you're the, getting. The cheese is is very <laughs> like this guy's going to more upscale <laughs> movie <laughs> theater. Like he's going to more upscale movie theaters than me, Mike. Like he's going to the Emirates of movie. Theaters I didn't say that. I'm cheese. saying that's. I'm saying they're not doing. If you went somewhere, they did that. They're not doing it proper. I've seen the nachos served in a clear tray. Yes, a clear tray plastic with tray with a little little cup for the cheese sauce to go in. Yeah, the cheese That's... sauce gets very dicey though, Joe. It does get dicey the cheese uh, sauce because yeah. you're in the dark. You don't know where the fuck that cheese and is. And they're going, using man. the same. The cheese pretzels are the, it's the, the same pretzels, cheese. It's, yes, it is the a, same that, cheese. That's a yes, dangerous stain. I just think it's. A I dangerous don't mind game. the nacho play though at all. I don't mind it. I've had nachos at the movie before. Well, I don't mind it. In his defense, he had share, soda. Too. He did have. He did have soda. Did so have you gotta, soda. you gotta give him that. I had soda, man. Soda would have put me over the edge. And then at number <laughs> one, I got, I gotta go popcorn with butter. And I, Nicole posted on the story before. She, I, I have this contraption that I do, and it's you get the butter, and then they have the side things with the butter on the side. What you do is you take, you ask for one straw, you get a straw. You take the straw, you put it in the middle of your popcorn bag, and then you take the other end of the straw and you put it up against the butter, the, the thing that's that that basically releases the dispenser. The, the dispenser. The dispenser, yes, thank you. And what it does is it dispenses the butter through the straw all the way to the bottom <laughs> of the popcorn, and then you just disperse it. So you have an equilibrium layer layering of popcorn and butter from each layer. It's absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. An Sky. equilibrium, uh, equal layer, it. maybe an equal layering uh, of butter. Go, I'd rather go with equilibrium. A lot funnier. Have you tried it, Mikey? No, I, I get the I get the principle of yeah, it. Though. I, in, 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 in it's this, brilliant. It's brilliant. It's the, in, from the scientific methodology of approach, it definitely makes a lot of sense because your your distribution is even throughout the bag of popcorn. It makes a lot of sense as opposed to just going top layer only because the bottom layer of popcorn yes. isn't getting any love until your yes. whole mitt is. And a lot the of bag. people they just drench the top layer and yeah. then you get through it. It's all soggy and then you get yeah. to the middle and the butter is dry Mikey. as a bone. It's Mikey, a good you, method. 
good. Imagine taking Dom, little Dom, to the movie theater, and you're behind Joe at the butter dispenser, and you gotta wait. <laughs> I'd offer to do it for little Dom <laughs> too. No, I know you would. Yeah, Joe would I, take care of yeah, would take yeah, care yeah. of Dom. By the now, way, some strange, sure some Dom... strange child, not so much. No, 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 that, that, that child, the stranger. Was... Rocks. If it was a stranger uh, behind Joe, uh, they would probably they lose, their, uh, lose their cool quick. Oh man. Um okay. I actually had somebody behind me see me doing it and they looked at me, they said that's the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I well, saw that. So I actually, you know, kind of enhanced that person's movie experience. It was it was um <clears throat> <laughs> it was it was a TikTok thing that was all over TikTok too that I have seen that I bet it does work I I don't doubt that um okay uh, Joe I don't I don't mind the li- the the licorice and the the nachos I, I I think I did have a little bit of an issue with because I get again I find the cheese to be dicey um but uh what if it was soda now no, no. <laughs> number five I got the peanut M and M's I I I flirted with the icy. Um, as well, and I didn't know if that was going to be allowed or not. I do have peanut M and M's at five. Um, number four, I got two things on here that you guys didn't have. Number four, I have the cookie dough bites. I think the cookie dough bites. Oh, those that's like good. a newer thing, but yeah, yeah. Is, Isn't that is kind it, of newer, or is that no, classic? Is that a classic? No, I, I mean, I know it's in a red box, right? It's in a red box. Yeah, I red and blue. Oh, I, I believe red, red and blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah. I think I've those seen have been them. around. Yeah, I got the cookie dough bites at four, and I, I don't think I would get that outside of the movie theater. Something about having those in the movie theater is great. Um, number three, uh, maybe it's not the most movie theater snack. I mean, it's there, but I just think it's such a superior candy is is Kit Kat. I, I think Kit Kat. Oh, Kit Kat's uh, great. No, Kit Kat's so a movie candy. Good. I think that's a movie candy. Yeah, I think they deserve It'd be nice if they do the mini Kit Kats. I think that would play well. Um, I wouldn't want the that. theater. No. No, give me the full on bar. Okay, yeah. yeah. Look, I'll, I'll I'll take the full bar then. Uh, give me Kit Kat any way I can get it at three, two. This is where it does make a difference. I'm with Joe. You don't do the Reese's cups at the movies. You do the Reese's pieces for yes. the movies. That yes. that's a that's a that's a movie snack. Um, I got Reese's pieces at two, and then yeah, I think you got to have popcorn at one. Um, if I don't say so myself, I I I'm I, I like my list. Yeah, I I listen. I tried, I, my list, in the back of my mind, there's certain things that you just avoid at the movie theater. It's anything that you have to deal with your hands that could be in some type of a sauce or some type of, like you said, Bob, and that's why the Kit Kat could get a little dangerous too. Any type of chocolate that's exposed chocolate without a shell of protection in the dark gets very dicey because if it melts just a little bit and you don't recognize it and then you wipe your shirt, it's all over the place. You don't know what's happening. Yo, There's a lot of variables. Yo, Reese's yo, peanut butter cup, Joe's while delicious, a, is notorious for chocolate leakage. Joe's all over trying the, all to over. knock on me because of that, but he did nachos. Meanwhile, this guy's stealing he did do nachos, but the nachos yes. was the nachos was the panic play. After oh, the it soda. was. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. It was soda, Bob. <laughs> it was always soda. Well, we need the honorable mention now, Joe. I'll go mine last because I got to, I got to think now. All right. I'll go mine. I'll go mine now. I'm going to do, um, you could, you could give me the raisinette as honorable mention. I think oh, the raisinette glossettes. Is, yeah. Wow. Gonna, wait, what? Glossettes. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the raisinettes. They're, that they're called glo- glossettes. <laughs> Are they? Mikey? In yeah. Canada, they must be. Yeah. In Canada, I mean, they this must guy be. is living. The glossette <laughs> raisins. Oh, they're in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. glossette raisins. <laughs> <laughs> now, glossette is such a horrible name compared to no, raisinette. but these are un- no, these are unbelievable. Well, that is the raisinette, though. So yes, that is my honorable mention: is the chocolate covered raisin. I think that's oh, a delicious this is snack. the one that you do. Wait, wait, is this? Oh, wait, wait, raisinette, raisinette. Oh, let me let me look at it. Would you Hold guys on. have allowed? Would you guys have allowed icy? I think it would have had been. A, I think it would have to have have been a discussion. Yeah, I think okay. Because so. I would like to go icy um, slurpee. I, yeah, slurpee. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like yeah, to go yeah, slurpee yeah. as as it's honorable mention. So I don't think, but yeah, I I I'd go. I have no. Oh, this issue is with it. this is this is, this is the one. That's the raisin. That's the raisin. Yeah, oh, I never had this one. I had the gloss Same, but they're really good. Same thing, I think, Joe. I think it's the same. Thing. Bob, what are you doing, slurpee? I'm doing slurpee. I'm gonna. See, I I wanted to do something that's something that's newer, and I, it's 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 making a wave through the movie theater scene lately, and I love it. But I think it'll bury me if I put on my. That's my honorable mention. 
I don't know. I'm so torn. I need I to wanted, hear it now. I have to hear it now. I wanted to put, I've seen recently churros at the cinemas and it's unbelievable, but I don't think, I think it's a new wave thing. So I'm going to go as my honorable mention, I am going to do pizza. <laughs> have you ever had movie theater pizza it's actually surprisingly good bob yo this guy this podcast was absolutely just awesome. I, mean, I just what just, a wild just, wild performance his, 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 his belief and confidence in every take he puts out there <laughs> is just second to fucking none. Second Sounds to right. none. And that's why. Well, so, so, so the problem is I had soda at two and the nachos were my honorable mention. So when I had to to, to throw out the soda, the honorable mention moved always up to the tough, number two always spot. Always a tough thing to do when the honorable mention becomes your number two. That's Fellas, tough. That's Fellas. Tough. No, but I do love nachos. I, I, I really do. Fellas, um, there will be a day <laughs> where we are doing this show live every single Florida week. Keys. That is going to be happening. And by the way, shout out Mikey V. You know what Mikey V did? He DM'd my dad, Happy Father's Day. And somehow my dad saw it. I don't know how. He responded, yeah, he he responded. He said, you're never going to believe this. I I got a DM because he doesn't check his DMs. I don't know how he got. He doesn't do that. He doesn't. He's very good with this stuff. If I knew Joe's dad's Instagram handle, I would have done the same thing. I don't know if Joe's dad has Instagram. Even my dad says, what a classy thing to do. That is very nice. Just a very, very classy move um, from Mikey V. I commend you for that, Mikey V. When you boys hit that point one day eventually, you'll... It's a newfound respect. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. a newfound respect. It is. Well, Joey it's, Day might be fucking Day. easy. Joey Day might be knocking on the door. You never know. Ah. You never know. Well, no, I'm not making oh, well, it. Well, well, no, 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 no. I'm saying. No, 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 no. We're no, saying no. we're saying like in the in the not so distant I, future. Oh, I'm OK. Saying, OK. I'm yeah. Saying I that. thought you're announced. No, 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 no. No, but that being said, not so distant. Brace Future. yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Brace yeah, yourself. With that being Maybe. said, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. not so. No, I'm I'm agreeing with you in the not so distant future. Well, Joe there Jr. will be a Joey Jr. Can tell you? you I, I'm just wondering where that bachelor party will be for Joey D once he ties the knot. Vancouver, Vancouver or Tijuana. Yeah. It, Joe, I love you to death. If you're doing Tijuana, I ain't going. I ain't doing that. Are you nuts? I, I probably would go. Joe. I would probably go like. I don't know. I would maybe do the Swiss do Alps. Something I might do Scottsdale. That's, that's fair. It's great that's play. That's fair. That's great play. Because then Continental we could go United States is great. Because like, then you could Fubu, go off and Fubu then Lou, go God off. bless him. Fubulu is getting married in December. Guys having his bachelor party in, in Colombia. Colombia. That's the, a lot, the country man. of Colombia. You know what? Like I said, Fubu, I can't go to that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I can't I, go. I can't. Is... I would do Scottsdale because then you could golf. You could still go out. They got you... good restaurants. Few yes. places I I would roam if I had a big crew, I would consider Colombia. Not that I'm invited to Fubu Lou's bachelor party. Well, Bob, well, well, listen, so. now you might have. A, if you want a trip to Colombia, he's <laughs> looking for guys, Bob. Because yeah. me, Mike Coogs, Dicky Guess, like we can't swing that. Oh, God the forbid, not with the ghost. He'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> half the time, motherfucking... No, Mike Coogs, Mike Coogs. Mike Coogs. Oh. But yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that does it. That's another edition of the Braille and the Dumb Show. I love you, boys. I appreciate you, boys. We will see you next time. Later. Spectacular episode.